Hey guys, I'm here with another review. Uh, this is another L8 review. This is a L8 Cherry. <coughs> um, L8 came out in 1926 by J.L. Winscott out of Kentucky Fair. Um, for about 90 some years, the only one they had was the original. And, uh, no, for about 70 years, actually. They only had the original, and then in the 90s, they came out with uh, Diet. Early 2000s, they came out with uh, Caffeine Free, and then just a few years ago, they came out with a Cherry and Blackberry and stuff like that. Um, yeah, the Cherry one was new. It came out just a couple of years ago. Uh some people like this, some don't. Uh, there's mix. There's actually mixed reactions on the cherry one. Uh, I haven't had one in a while. I'll try to see what I think. Uh, but yeah. They actually have these now around the U.S. and Cracker Barrels. Uh, any Cracker Barrel you go to in the United States, in any state, they actually sell L8. I don't know if they sell just the original or all the flavors, but they do sell them at all Cracker Barrels. But yeah, they co they cost about one sixteen a bottle, I believe that's right. One sixteen, one twenty six a bottle. It used to be like one oh five, but inflation caused it to go up and stuff. But yeah, let's take and see how this is. Definitely a lot of cherry in there. As I remember, but definitely a lot of cherry. That's one good thing. Um, when I have some like that, I do like a lot of the flavor of what it says in it, so it has that going for it. And I don't know why, but... The regular and the cherry come in a six pack and the cream and the blackberry, I believe. I believe they still make the blackberry. I haven't found it yet. But the cream and the blackberry, I'll be doing one on the cream too soon. But the cream and the blackberry only come in like a four pack for some reason and they're the same price. I don't understand that one. No, they're a little less, I'm sorry. But I still don't understand that Lincoln. But pretty good. Not like I remember it, which is a good thing. But it's pretty good so far right now. Good cherry flavor. Um... I remember when I first tried it, I really didn't care for it. Um, it had a very strong cherry flavor. Something about it just wasn't right to me. But right now, it's just not, right now, it's not too bad. I've already drunk like half of it. So right there's a good sign. It's not bad at all. If I had only drunk it probably to here, it probably wouldn't have been that good. But yeah, if you ever come to Kentucky 
or, or out of Cracker Barrel or some of the United States, they can get any flavor of these. <coughs> this is one soft drink of, you're going to like it or you're going to flat out hate it. I will say that. Some people like these uh, that come through from other states. Some people don't. Yeah, pretty good, Ron. Like I said, I would recommend it. Any, almost any of these really, they're they have good flavors to them. They're real cheap. One thing I've never understood with these is they've never put these in like a liter bottle. I guarantee, if they put L8 any of them, well, especially the original and stuff, but if they took a put L8 in a liter bottle, they would make a kill in here in Kentucky. That's one thing I am surprised I've never tried to do. But yeah, real good drink. They put them in glass bottles. They put them in them plastic bottles, but never in one of them liter bottles. I never understood that. But yeah, that is uh, L8 Cherry. Uh, I do have a one or two more I'll be doing, so watch out for them, and I'll take and see you all in.